ओम शांति 18 फरवरी इंग्लिश मोली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव रिसीव द एलिवेटेड इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू बिकम सोल कॉन्शियस एंड टू रिमेंबर द फादर अंडर नो सरकमस्टेंसेस शुड यू आर्ग्यू विद एनीवन क्वेश्चन व्हाट मेथड हैज बीन क्रिएटेड सो दैट योर इंटेलेक्ट्स योगा बिकम्स क्लीन एंड कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू द फादर answer a bhatti of 7 days when new ones come sit them in a bhatti for 7 days the rubbish will be cleared from their intellects and they will be able to recognize the incognito father the incognito study and the incognito inheritance if they were simply to sit down as soon as they came they would become confused and understand the thing song awaken o bright awaken the new day is about to dawn om shanti in order to make you children knowledgeable such songs have to be played and their meaning explained you will then be able to speak out in front of others you will find out how much knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end is in the intellect it is as though the secrets of everything from up above from the incorporeal world the subtle region and the beginning middle and end of the corporeal world are shining in the intellects of you children the father has this knowledge which he tells you this is completely new knowledge although the names are mentioned in the scriptures etc they will get stuck on mentioning those names and begin to debate on them here he explains in a completely simple way god speaks remember me only i am the purifier krishna brahma vishnu shankara etc would never be called the purifier you don't call the residents of the subtle region purifiers how then could human beings of the physical world be purifiers this knowledge is surely in your intellect it isn't good to argue too much about the scriptures too much discussion takes place they even start beating each other with sticks these things are explained to you very easily you are not to go too much into the things of the scriptures the main aspect is definitely that of becoming soul conscious to consider yourself to be a soul and remember the father this shunak is the main one the rest is detail the seed is so small whereas the rest is the expansion of the tree just as the whole knowledge of a tree is merged in its seed in the same way all of this knowledge is also merged in the seed the seed and the tree are in your intellect no one else can understand this in the way that you do they have written the life span of the tree to be long the father sits here and explains the secrets of the seed and the tree and the drama cycle you are spinners of the discourse of self realization if new ones come and baba where to sing the praise of the children as spinners of the discourse of self realization none of them would be able to understand they wouldn't even consider themselves to be children this father is incognito the knowledge is also incognito and the inheritance too is incognito any one new who hears these things would become confused this is why they are made to sit in a bhatti for 7 days the recitations of the bhagavat and ramayana etc that they hold for 7 days are in fact a memorial of this time when they are kept in a bhatti for 7 days for the rubbish in their intellects to be removed and for their intellects yoga to be connected to the father here all are deceased these diseases doesn't exist in the golden age 
This is a disease of half a cycle. The disease of the five vices is huge. You remain so conscious that you souls know that you leave a body and adapt another. You have a vision beforehand. Untimely death never occurs there. You are made victorious over death. They say death, death, the great death. There is also the Mahakal temple. The sick people have the immortal throne. In fact, the immortal throne is the center of the forehead where the soul is seated. All souls are seated on these immortal thrones. The father sits here and explains this. The father doesn't have his own throne. He comes and takes this one's throne. He sits on this throne and makes you children worthy of sitting in the peacock throne. You know what that peacock throne on which Lakshmi and Narayan will be seated would be like. The peacock throne has been remembered, has it not? You should turn this. Why is he called God, the innocent Lord? On seeing the innocent Lord, the intellect goes up above. Sages, holy men, etc. also point with their finger in this way upwards for you to remember him. However, no one can know anything accurately. The Father, the Purifier, now comes personally in front of you and says, Remember me, and your sins will be absolved. This is a guarantee. This is also written in the Gita. But if you pull one example out from the Gita, they would pull out ten. This is why there is no need. Those who have studied the scriptures, etc., think that they can challenge others. Those of you children who don't know these scriptures at all shouldn't ever even mention their names. Simply say, God says, Remember me, your father. Only he is called the purifier. They also sing the song, Purifier, Rama of Sita. Sanyatis also continue to chant here and there. There are many options like these. Are there not? This song too is so beautiful. According to the drama plan, such songs are composed every cycle. It is as though they are composed for you children alone. There are such good songs. For example, show the path to the blind Prabhu. The one who resides beyond this earth, it is not that Krishna is called Prabhu. Only the incorporeal one would be called Prabhu or Ishwar, one who fulfills all desires. Here, you see Baba is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. He too is a soul, is he not? They have gone under the path of devotion too much. Here, things are completely simple. Alpha and Beta. Alpha is Allah and Beta is the sovereignty. It is such a simple thing. Remember the Father and you will become the masters of heaven. Lakshmi and Narayan were definitely the masters of heaven. They were completely wiseless. So, only by remembering the Father will you definitely become complete like them to the extent that you have remembrance and do service accordingly, you receive a high status. This is also understood. Don't students in a school realize it when they are studying very little? Those who don't pay full attention continue to sit at the back. So they would definitely say, in order to refresh yourself, you should listen to the good songs of knowledge that have been composed. Keep such songs in your homes. You could even explain them to others. Look how the shadow of Maya falls again. It is not mentioned in the scriptures that the duration of the cycle is 5000 years. The day of Brahma and the night of Brahma are half and half. Someone had these songs composed. The father is the intellect of the wise and so it entered the intellects of those who sat 
and composed them. So many who came to you went into trance on hearing these songs, etc. The day will come when those who sing songs of this knowledge will also come to you. They will sing such songs in praise of the Father that your hearts will be touched. Singers of that kind will come. It also depends on the tune. The art of singing is also very famous. At the moment, there is no one like that. There is just one song composed, so sweet, so lovely God Shiva, the innocent one is. The father is definitely very sweet and very lovely too. That is why everyone remembers him. It is not that the deities remember him. In the pictures, they have shown Rama in front of Shiva. Rama is worshipping. This too is wrong. It's not that the deities remember anyone. It is human beings who have remembrance. You are now human beings and you too will then become deities. There is the difference of day and night between deities and human beings. The same deities then become human beings. No one knows at all how the cycle continues to turn. You have now found out that we truly do become deities. We are now brahmins. In the new world, we will be called deities. You are now filled with wonder. This Brahma, who has previously a worshipper in this world and sang praise of Sri Narayan, had a lot of love for Narayan. Now it seems a wonder that he is becoming that again. So the mercury of happiness should rise so much. You are the unknown warriors. You are non-violent. Truly, you are doubly non-violent. Neither do you have the sword of lust, nor do you engage in war. Lust is separate. Anger is separate. So, then, you are doubly non-violent. The non-violent army. Because of the word army, they have set up armies. In the Mahabharata war, they have shown males. There are no females. In fact, you are Shiva Shaktis. Because you are in the majority, you are called the Shiva Shakti army. Only the father sits here and explains these things. Now, you children remember the new age. No one in the world even knows about the new age. They think that the new age will come after 40,000 years. It is very clear that the golden age is the new age. So, Baba advises you, you will be refreshed by listening to such good songs and you will explain to others as well. These are all clever methods. Only you can understand the meaning of these. There are many very good songs to refresh yourself with. These songs help a great deal. Extract their meanings so that your mouth opens and that there is also happiness. The father says to those who cannot imbibe them, continue to remember the father while sitting at home. While living in your household, just remember this mantra. Remember the father and become pure. Previously, a man would say to his wife, you can remember God even at home. So what need is there to wander along to the temples, etc.? I will give you an image at home. Sit here and have remembrance. Why do you go to stumble around? In this way, many men wouldn't let their wives go. To worship is the same thing. As to remember, once you have seen an image, you can remember that anyway. Krishna's image with the peacock feather and the crown is common. You children have had visions. You have had visions of how he takes birth there. However, could you take a photograph of them? No one could take an accurate one. It can only be seen with divine vision. It cannot be created. Yes, after seeing it, you can describe it. However, it cannot be painted, etc. Even if the painter is clever, and has a vision. 
he cannot draw the features accurately. So, Baba has explained, don't argue too much with anyone. Tell them, your interest is in becoming pure. You ask for peace. So then, remember the father and become pure. Pure souls cannot reside here. They would go back. Only the father has the power to make souls pure. No one else can purify souls. You children know that all of this is the stage on which this play is performed. At this time, the whole stage is Ravana's kingdom. The world is lying on the whole ocean. This is an unlimited island. Those are limited. This is an unlimited aspect. The island on which the divine kingdom exists for half a cycle. And the devilish kingdom exists for half a cycle. Actually, the continents are separate. But this is all a matter of the unlimited. You know that we will definitely reside on the banks of the sweet water of the Ganges and Yamuna rivers. There will be no need to go to the sea etc. When they talk of the Dwarika, it isn't in the middle of the sea. Dwarika is not a separate place. Few children have had visions. In the beginning, Sandeshi and Gulzar used to have many visions. They played a great part because they had to entertain the rest in the bhatti. So, they were entertained a great deal by the visions. The father says at the end, you will be entertained a lot. That part is another thing. There is also a song, what we have seen, you didn't see. You will continue to have visions one after another. For example, as the days of the exams draw close, you would find out with how many marks you will pass. This too is your study. Now, it is as though you are sitting here while being knowledgeful. Not everyone is full. In a school, everyone is always number wise. This too is knowledge. The incorporeal world, the subtle region, you have the knowledge of the three worlds. You know, this world cycle, it continues to turn. The father says, the knowledge that you have been given cannot be explained to anyone else. You have unlimited omens over you. Some have the omens of Jupiter and others have the omens of an eclipse of Rahu. So, they will go and become cremators, etc. These are unlimited omens. Those are limited omens. The unlimited father tells you unlimited things and grants you an unlimited inheritance. You children have so much happiness. You have claimed sovereignty many times and lost it. This is completely true. Nothing new. Then you will be able to remain eternally happy. Otherwise, Maya makes you choke. So, all of you are lovers of the one beloved. All of you lovers only remember that one beloved. He comes and gives happiness to everyone. You have been remembering him for half a cycle. Now that you have found him, you should have so much happiness. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father and Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharana, first point. In order to stay constantly cheerful, make the lesson of nothing new firm. Maintain the happiness that the unlimited father is giving us the unlimited serenity. Second point. Listen to the good songs of knowledge and refresh yourself. Understand the meaning of them and explain them to others. Blessing. May you be successful with your contacts and service with the speciality of molding yourself and become an embodiment of success. Description. The children who have the speciality of molding themselves 
can easily reach the golden age stage, whatever the time and the circumstances may be. In order to be able to reveal your dhana, you have to mold yourself accordingly. Those who are able to mold themselves are real gold. You saw the speciality of Sakar's father. Whatever the time, whoever the person was in front of him, he would adapt a form accordingly. Follow the father in the same way and you will easily become an embodiment of success with your contacts and service. Slogan, where you have all the powers, you have success with you without any obstacles. Om Shanti.